Mingo Lodge. We've got a, a swimming pool just down here with a lovely view onto the water hole. All the rooms are very scattered so they each room has got its own view and its own privacy. Each structure has got a, a big tent, it's six by four meters big. It's got an entrance area and a passage leading to a round bathroom. The safari Lodge was always sort of my dream and we found the place and we never thought it would actually happen but now we're here and um, yeah, it's built out of natural materials. We used quite a lot of dead olive wood that we found on our land. The thatching is natural grass from um, around the area. And we try to use as much um, sustainable wood as possible. So most of the wood for the floorboards and things like that is actually from plantations. So it's not cutting down indigenous primary rainforest. We wanted to do it properly, so we wanted it to be a nice stylish place um, and we wanted it to be environmentally friendly, we wanted it to be yeah, uh, sustainable but also make financial sense. So it was only um, natural that we sort of did solar water heating and, and solar electricity and when it rains all the water goes down into this little natural valley in the rocks and then at the bottom we built a dam Sometimes they're huge downpours of up to 15 centimetres at a go, which is about this much. And that, that will come down within 20 minutes or so. This, this supplies water for all the rooms, for the kitchen, um, when we have to refill the swimming pool. Inside the park you can do various things from different game drives. There are three, four different options of game drives with um, viewpoints. Um, you can do a boat trip on the lake. Um, you can do an early morning game walk where you've got a big chance of seeing hyenas on foot which is quite unique for Uganda. And we have plans to do um, a wildlife project and it will first focus on hyenas and leopards um, and trying to conserve them and compensate farmers around the areas to stop them poisoning leopard and hyena. Generally um, Uganda is a very investor friendly country and a very um, the people are very friendly here. That's why um, there are quite a lot of people that just get stuck in Uganda. My name's Kate, I'm 27, I live in Uganda. I'm manager of Mhingo Lodge, an eco lodge in Lake Mburu National Park. And I wanted to, um, to do something else while I was out here and not just the hospitality side of running a lodge. And I thought also, I really believe it's very important if you're going to call yourself an eco lodge to give something back to the community and to be responsible about doing that. Every fortnight I go to the local school and teach different classes on conservation issues. Um, and every week I go and spend two hours um, teaching the adults in the village basic literacy, um, reading and writing, both in their own language and in English. I use a lot of drama with the children. Um, I try and make the learning as fun as possible. And I try and teach them uh, about conservation, which sort of ties in with their curriculum as well. Two by two, hurrah, hurrah. And the Indians came by two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The animals all came back again, everyone cheered and was happy again. A lot of people sort of look at the big picture in Africa and everybody, they don't really, it's too complicated and too complex for people to feel that they could make a difference and I really believe that it's if everybody does something small then the sort of the the difference can be huge at the end of the day but if everybody shies away from it because it's too big then we're not going to get anywhere <laughs> Get it down, buddy, build